some pretty good clay the good mixture of some gravel in there we're gonna see how the auger does so I've dug my jump hole you need to make sure that your jump hole is wide enough to accommodate your drill Since I'm working with a small amount of space, I'm going to start off with just one section. I always want to make sure I always have the adapter in the drill chuck. If I chuck directly up on the shaft of the auger, you'll mess it up over time and you want to keep it nice and straight. I made a tool to help me be able to chuck up tighter on the drill chuck. This is the DeWalt DWD450, and to be honest, I'm a Milwaukee girl, but the rental store didn't have Milwaukee, so, but this right here is one heck of a powerful drill, so really have to be careful. I'm fairly certain there's no clutch on it, so... It could spin me around if I'm not careful, so just every, everyone be aware you're working with some powerful equipment. This is my front section. As you can see, I've got my nose and my cutter here. It's completely replaceable. But you can also sharpen it as it gets dull over time, you'll get a lot of use out of it before you need to replace them. This is my first time my own auger. Let's see what happens. So I'm ready to start. I hope you guys are able to see this okay. Go as slow as possible. Don't push on the drill. Don't pry on the drill. Just let the drill do the work. I need to slide. 
slide my other section on. It's really important to remember. You have a set screw on this section that needs to line up with the divot on this shaft. In this case, my divot ended up on the back side, so you just need to make sure that matches up because that divot will hold the set screw and will keep the sections from coming apart. Okay, I've got my second section attached now, so I can finish up my five foot bore. I'm going to go ahead and put the drill back on the auger. As you can see, I've kept the adapter in the drill. Now this is just a plain hex steel adapter. I'm using this because I know I'm not running into any electric here, but the auger that you guys will get will actually be an insulating adapter that will help protect you from electric shock in case you run into anything. But of course, you've always got to call before you dig. <sighs> I'm hoping you guys can see this. I am so pleased with this auger. Let's go ahead and back her out and see what we got. Now listen guys, if I can do it, you can do it. Customaugers.com C-U-S-T-O-M-A-U-G-E-R-S.com